Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the animal sets from the modern Polly Pocket line. This is what they look like, so we have four animals here. I'm excited to show these because I haven't shown any of the big Pocket World sets yet. People have been asking me to show these already, so let's get started. We are going to start with this one because she's pink, of course. This is Llama Music Party. This one is fairly new. This one came out in 2019 or I think early 2020 because that's when I started seeing ads for it. She is super cute. I love the baby pink color. I also love her eyelashes. So pretty. She has flowers in her hair. I love this so much. On the back, she also has flowers. So this is her crown and it goes all the way around being held together by the string. I know I've been very critical of the new Polly Pockets because I can't help but compare them to the vintage ones. I am a 90s kid, so I'm biased. But whenever they release a new big pocket world, I just get so excited because I love the designs. I also love how these can stand on their own like this. This is definitely giving me some hippie vibes. We have an outdoor scenario here. This is a little picnic area. And when you flip this over, there's a game board. I wonder if they're playing the Polly Pocket board game. Over here, we have a dance floor. I already put Polly sticks on them because I got way too excited and the little hearts fit perfectly in there. So I wanted to stick those on there right away. And when you turn this gear, the platform turns. We also have some items on the stage. We have an electric guitar, a bouquet of flowers, and a microphone. I really love the textures on the stage. I love how we can see the wood planks. I like these dots that go all the way to the staircase over here. We have some 3D flowers on the ground and there's nice grassy textures all around here. There's a cute rug over here and this picnic basket, which actually comes out. That's the little spot for the picnic basket. It fits right in there like a Lego. We also have some kind of fruits and veggies stand over here. When you lift this up, it looks like a little farmer's market booth. On the other side, we see a bunch of veggies and I think it's all vegetarian. Where's the meat? On the second level, the party continues. We have a disco ball over here with some lights coming out. There's also some textures of musical notes and stars. And when you open this, there is another stage. Here's a drum kit. And that star reminds me of Steven Universe. I love it. In the background, there's a nice graphic of speakers and lights. We also have speakers over here. This staircase has really nice texture to it too. There's hearts and stars. There's a heart over here with a peace sign inside and some gems. This whole thing really reminds me of Steven Universe. I binged the entire show. I watched the original, the movie, and the spinoff. Up here, we have a camping area. This is so beautiful. Another star up there, more stars over here. And inside is the actual camping stuff. We have a sleeping bag, a teddy bear, fairy lights, pictures. That backpack looks like one of the sets that I have in my collection. It's really nice that they added that here. We have a chair, a beautiful palm tree, and we can see more palm trees in the background. There's a beautiful sunset and some birds. Here's Polly. She's got her pink and purple outfit on, which is my favorite color combination. Her hands are up in the air because she is ready to party. Next, we have Lila, and she has a llama on her shirt that is so cute. Of course, we can't have a llama music party without actual llamas. Here is a white one and a lavender one. They look so fluffy and cute. Llamas are so trendy now. I think they're above unicorns now. I also don't understand the concept of this compact. So it's a llama music party, which means Polly and Lila are partying with llamas? Is that something people normally do? And are the llamas okay with it? Because maybe they're tired, they have to work in the morning, and they don't want to party all night. Here's the picnic basket we saw earlier, and inside is just some food. And this is our Polly stick. We can see the stickers missing because I already used them. We have a llama, a peace sign, flowers, music notes. I'm definitely getting hippie vibes here.
Next, we have Friesen Fun Narwhal. As the name says, she is a narwhal. She's so gorgeous. Again, I love these eyelashes. I love these kawaii rosy cheeks. She kind of reminds me of Bubby from the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch that show, I suggest that you do. It is wonderfully creepy. Of course, she's got her narwhal horn. It's embellished with little snowflakes. I also love how iridescent this is, as well as the rest of the compact. You can see these streaks right here. She has cute little fins and a cute little tail. On the back, she's embellished with more snowflakes, and we also see a splash of water here. That's really cool. By the way, each of these came with a little handle so you can strap it to your wrist. I personally don't like it, so I took it off. I thought that it clashed with the design, and I might make my own custom strap in the future, so for now, I just took that off. This looks so cool. It looks like a scene from Frozen. This is my favorite section already just because of this cute pink narwhal. I love how the water looks very cold and icy. There's also glitter in there. And we can see silhouettes of different sharks and fish. There's a big iceberg over here. And when we open it, we see a baby narwhal. This is the mommy and this is the baby. That is so cute. We also have a mommy and baby penguin over here. They're purple. I just love them so much. And they waddle. We can also see the little penguin footprints here in the snow. All around this compact, we see icebergs, snowflakes, just a very beautiful snowy scenario. On the second level, we see this big icy cave. I love the textures here. It just looks so cold and wonderfully icy. There's that Polly Pocket logo again, and there's some crystals here and snowflakes too. And when we open this up, we see a little cave. Up here is an opening, so this is actually a slide, and we can put the character in here, and they come out here. We also have this little zipline contraption, so they can go from the cave to the staircase, and this just slides all along here. I love the graphic in the background. I think they really did a good job improving the graphic design. The Borealis looks so beautiful, and the gem in there too. It looks super realistic. Lastly, we just have this big icy staircase. Here is Polly. Her arms are fully covered, and her hands too, because it's freezing in here. Same with Lila. She is fully covered and ready to play in the snow. Here we have the cutest, chubbiest polar bear. Look at that face. So cute. We also get a little husky. I've always wanted a husky. Super cute. And we have a pink sled that the characters can ride and the husky can pull. Here's our poly stick and it's a little bent up because it got squished in the compact. Here we have the narwhal, the penguin, and the snowflake to match the compact. Next, we have Owl Night Campsite. This one might look familiar because this one is heavily advertised. I see this a lot on their social media and all different kinds of ads. He is a purple owl with big ol' eyes. Look at his little feet. So cute. I love this feathering, how it's simple but super effective. On the back is a continuation of the feathering. He also has a little tail and these little hearts which help support the compact when you set it down on the table. I love how long this one is. Super unique. Down here we have a dock and a fishing area. I love how nearly realistic the water looks. There's a fishing pole over here which you can move right above this little pond. And when you rotate the pond you can see different fishies. There's also a little clear fish right over here. I really love the texture on this dock. This is really good detail. In fact, there's a lot of really good texture throughout here. Here we get to a sleeping area where the dolls can sleep under the stars. We have a flat sticker sleeping bag over here and an actual 3D one here. You can lift this big fluffy blanket and just nest the doll right in there. There's a tiny campfire, some items around the camp. We have a map, a compass, a guitar, a flashlight, 
and some shoes. There's also a nice log for the characters to sit. Going up the stairs, we get to a nice woodsy area. We are definitely glamping right here. This is such a fancy camper. I love the colors, I love pink. And when we open it up, you see all of your amenities. They've got a toilet, a bathtub, a vanity. The point of camping is to be one with nature, and if you're gonna bring your house to camp, then you might as well just stay home. Up here, we have more camping equipment. We also see that little owl again. He's right there. There's a crescent moon with a shooting star and this rocks back and forth. We also get a beautiful graphic once again. There's shooting stars, twinkling stars, fairy lights, and we have this gigantic pine tree and it has birds right on it. When we open this up, we see two squirrels gathering acorns for hibernation or whatever it is that squirrels do. Here's Polly, and it looks like she's a Girl Scout. That's made obvious by her sash with many badges on it. And Shawnee finally makes an appearance, and she is also a Girl Scout. We also get this purple boat where the characters can sit. And this is another one of those pieces that you can transform into a ring if you have the ring piece. Finally, we have our Polly stick, which matches the compact. And lastly, we have Flamingo Floaty. This one is older, this is from 2017, and this is called Flamingo Floaty because not only do we see a flamingo, but you can turn his head and it turns into a floaty. He has a cute tail over here. Underneath, there's not really anything extra. That same floaty texture is just repeated here. Even though this is a simple design, I think it looks really cute and super genius that you can rotate this. This looks like a fun summer tropical vacation. Here we can see what happens when we rotate the flamingo. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. It also looks like you can fill this whole thing up with water, but I don't want to attempt that because I can see a little hole over there and I don't want to risk getting water inside the compact. It might ruin it, it might get moldy. I just don't want to try it. This is the gigantic swimming pool. We have a nice lounge area over here with a beach towel. And when we open this, we get another place to lounge. This area here also looks like a floaty device. More places to lounge over here, just lots of places to relax. There's a little cabana over here where we can get our drinks. Up here, it is looking way more tropical. First, we see this big waterfall area. We can turn this knob to close it off and turn it again to open it. We also have a shower area here, and when we open it, we see a changing room. I really love the textures here. There's lots of stones, waves, it just looks really pretty. Another area to lounge. That looks really relaxing. At the highest point, we have this diving board with a poly stick on it. So they can jump from here to here. That's not very safe. There's a circular hobbit looking door over here. And when we open it, we see a super fancy hotel room. It looks like a suite. Because this is an older compact, the graphics aren't super clear. They look a bit outdated too, but we can still make out some details and this definitely looks like a fancy hotel room. Here is Polly, ready to go for a swim, although she doesn't have a swimsuit on. And here's Lila, she's wearing a normal outfit. I would have liked to see these characters in actual bathing suits or something more swim friendly. We also get the cutest flamingo floaties. Here is a pink one, just like the compact, and a white one. And this is our poly stick. We see some beach balls here, but that's about it. That pertains to the theme of this compact. So that was the animal sets from the modern Polly Pocket line. I just love the exterior of these because they're so cute and I know I've been critical of the modern Polly Pockets, but one of the reasons I love it is the exterior. They're just so creative with it. They are definitely eye-catching and I love how they stand on their own. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase and I'll see you on the next one.